what is your job? Oh, I'm the matchstick seller here, and uh, so what I've got here is a few examples of our matches that we've got. So I sell them for a halfpenny each box. So I've got our halfpenny here. So I just be on the streets most of the day after I've made these in the factories. Is it a dangerous job? Terribly dangerous, I'm afraid. As easy as this looks to do, what you have to do when you're making matches is you come in contact with phosphorus, which is the thing that makes the end of your match red. So it used to be white phosphorus, which unfortunately got into your teeth, rots all your teeth out, so they fall out, and then it gets into your jaw and to the point where you have to have your jaw removed. And I'm afraid once you've got the toothache, you're not going to keep your jaw for very long after that. So it's pretty disgusting, so today I'm having to wear my bandage just to keep my face together. What music do you play? I play the sort of music that you would have heard all around Lincolnshire, maybe 100 years ago or 200 years ago. So that's <laughs> lots of dance music and songs and things like that, the sort of thing that people just played in their own houses to entertain themselves. What kind of job do you have? Well, if you'd have been here 150 years ago, I probably would have been a farm worker or a ploughman. A lot of people who worked with horses on farms did a lot of singing as well, because when they were walking behind their horses, they used to sing, and at night they'd play music and dance as well. So I probably would have been a ploughman or a, a horse worker. These are the boys' toilets, but we won't be doing anything about that today. Hello, I'm Ratty Fulton. I'm the 1920s Lincoln City rat catcher. It was a nasty, dirty <laughs> job, but I loved it because it was it's exciting. Because the rats are fast and vicious, and I could keep my dogs, and they would bait the rats and fight in the pubs, and I'd earn lots of money from the live rats I caught. How big was the rat problem in the 1920s? It was a very, very big problem. Earlier in the century, in the 1910s, they had a big typhoid epidemic in Lincoln. So the city was, it was really important that they catch the rats because rats spread diseases. But of course, sometimes people used to eat the rats. So if you had, didn't have a piggy in your garden, maybe you'd like to have a nice fat rat with a cabbage because people had very little meat to eat. And Queen Victoria's rat catcher, he actually ate rats and he said they tasted like chicken. I understand Lincoln was famous for his engines. Can you tell me a bit about it? Yes, there were um, lots of companies in Lincoln made engines. There were f four big ones made engines and they must have made between them something like 100,000 engines. And m most of these were sold all over the world. But why Lincoln? because it was in the middle of a big area, a big agricultural area, and originally they set these <laughs> companies up to make these engines for the, for the local farmers. But then once they started making them, everybody else heard about it, and of course they <laughs> sold them all over the country, then all over the world. I'm the master chimney sweep, and I would employ children to do the chimney sweeping, uh, preferably over the age of eight years old, because in 1800 the law said that no child under the age of eight could go up a chimney but of course that law was widely ignored and many smaller children were sent up chimneys in the early part of the 19th century what would it be like it would be hot it would be dirty um, young people would have to climb up inside the chimney supporting themselves on their elbows and their knees. They would have a brush in one hand, a scraper in the other, and they would have to sweep and scrape the soot as they went up. And of course, that meant the soot would fall down on you as you, as you climbed up. The space was narrow. This is the size of a chimney opening. It's 14 inches by 9 and you would need to be able to climb up inside this space and work. <laughs>